Welcome! In front of me is a Nubia Neo and today I will show you how you can enable and also set up your portable hotspot. So to get started, you want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of your screen and then swipe down once again to extend the list of toggles that are visible on your screen. Here we are looking for a hotspot toggle which should be added by default and for me it is visible on the first page but if you don't see it on the first one you could swipe to the left and this will show you additional pages. And if you don't see it on either page, you could also tap on this pencil right here. And it most certainly should be visible somewhere in the toggles that are turned off. At which point all you would need to do is just grab it, drag it to the top, drop it, and now it's added. And you can see it on one of the pages. Anyway, once you see the toggle, hold it the first time around. This will quickly take you to the settings where you can customize how the mode will actually function and more importantly you can change the password which is by default randomly generated. So when I click right here on the setup Wi-Fi hotspot and select your hotspot password. I'm gonna remove this one. There we go. It will need to have at least eight characters in length and additionally we have options like AP Bend we have two options, either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Uh, now, uh, this will vary from person to person which option they will be using. Uh, but the simple explanation here is, um, if you don't know what your other device that you will be connecting with uh, to this hotspot supports, you can select 5 gigahertz, which is the second option, and just try to connect to your hotspot by going into your Wi-Fi options obviously in your other device and looking for the hotspot of whatever name you have visible right over here and if said device sees the hotspot that's great it means that it supports 5 gigahertz if it does not see anything uh, then that means that this device just does not support 5 gigahertz uh, wi-fi and all you need to do to resolve this problem is go back into the settings and change it back to 2.4 now with that being said you might be wondering what why would you want to try to utilize this if basically 2.4 works with everything that has any kind of Wi-Fi connectivity and the simple reason is because 5 GHz will be faster and a more of a stable connection compared to the 2.4 uh, but the downside is not every device obviously supports it which you probably better that. Um, so that's why I recommend checking it out and obviously if it doesn't support it then you don't really have much of an option and you will stick with 2.4. So, there we go. Um, once you have set, set, changed the settings here, you can just go back. And you can either turn it on, meaning the hotspot, from the settings that we have visible right here. So use Wi-Fi hotspot. Or you can quickly do it by just checking the toggle in here, like so. And that's it. So right now, the hotspot is enabled. Now, one more thing to keep in mind is when you're using your hotspot, the device will consume a little bit more of the power or battery uh, to basically distribute this kind of network. Um, so once you're done using it, you might want to keep in mind to turn it off if you don't want to unnecessarily drain your battery. And to turn it off, you just tap on the toggle once again. Additional uh, drawback here with the hotspot is when you enable your hotspot, your phone will be using the same antennas that you usually use for Wi-Fi. So if you pay attention right now, I am connected to Wi-Fi network shows me the name of the network but if I enable my hotspot it automatically turns off my Wi-Fi so I'll be only able to use mobile network at this time now once I turn off hotspot it will automatically re-enable Wi-Fi so uh, there's no extra steps needed outside of turning it off so anyway with that being said hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching